a grass shack, a hula girl, coconut, the beach at Waikiki, Oahu, Honolulu. This is Hawaii? No. Hawaii is a chain of islands, and we'll swing round them on Hawaiian Airlines with photographer Norm Schley and his wife, Ruth. Oahu, the gathering place. Kauai, the garden island. Maui, the valley island. Hawaii, the big island. Molokai, Lanai, and many smaller islands, each one packed with adventure and glamour. Ultra-modern metropolitan areas. Quiet residential section. A beautiful bit of paradise, USA. Right on the blue Pacific, framed in palms and lolling in the lap of luxury. The coastline is typical. Lush green vegetation, gently swaying palms, sparkling blue white cap water of the Pacific, and the peaceful serenity that spells the pace and tempo of living in the islands. Average temperature, 75 degrees. And just beyond Waikiki Beach's diamond head, an extinct volcano, the Gibraltar of the Pacific. Nearby is Kodak Hawaii's Hula Show, stage for visitors, their first introduction to the grace and rhythm of the dance that tells a story with each gesture. Now, the dances aren't very different from the cast of a Broadway show, as a peek into the wings backstage will reveal. The girls have a coke and a smoke, and then it's on the stage again to give for the interested audience. Eastman Kodak sells huge stocks of steel and motion picture films, and it gives the boys a record to take home, helps them spin their tale of Hawaiian glamour. This is the life of a sailor, that's for me. You know the stories told in the grace and rhythm of the hula are fascinating. The motions of the lyrics that expressively tell of a person's love for someone far away, of a happy event, of the island's rich beauty and history. Robert Louis Stevenson used a pen to tell his stories lived here in this cottage and wrote a poem once to a beautiful little Hawaiian girl, Princess Kaiolani. Honolulu's streets are broad, palm-lined, and clean. City Hall, century-old Kauaihau Church, and the famous landmark, the Aloha Tower. The Kuhio Motion Picture Theater could be Hollywood. The Judiciary Building was the former Parliament Building of the Kingdom of Hawaii. King Kamehameha the Great united the islands under one rule. His statue stands as a symbol of strength and unity. And downtown Honolulu could be 42nd Street and Broadway. You have modern, ultra-modern shops, stores, and buildings, and all the comforts a city dweller could ask for in a major metropolitan area. And yet only a few minutes removed, you have the natural beauty of a chain of islands that defies description. You have to see it, and you will. A few minutes from downtown Honolulu, Waikiki Beach. A boat you don't see often in mainland waters, the twin hull catamaran. Waikiki Beach is famous the world over. And one of the many ways you can have a good time is to hire an outrigger canoe, complete with helmsman. You load up, move out a short way offshore, and then you catch the waves just right and come riding in like the warriors of old in a fast and thrilling ride. It's a real kick. Of course, there's always a quiet spot, too, if that's what you want. Right across the street, down the beach corner. Now along the coastline, a fine display of natural beauty. How'd you like to live in this spot? Around the southern coastline of Oahu, past Cocoa Head, lies a beautiful horseshoe of blue water called Anoma Bay, the public park. There are natural coves and pools formed here from the remains of Cocoa Head Crater, and the water is clear as crystal. Heading up Mount Tantalus, the mist rides the crest of the mountain peak. The valley below stretches across to Diamond Head in the background. 
private homes dot the valley, and this is a part of suburban Honolulu. And Diamond Head is way off in the distance. Thick green foliage lines the road as we head over toward Winwin, Oahu. Now here's some of the peaceful, calm, quiet relaxation. This is the light. No smoke, no fog, no factory dim, just perfect calm. Hukilau is a fish feast, a first-rate picnic. And here at Laia, everyone joins in to help prepare the feast. The fishermen launch the boat with a great to-do. Fisherman holds one end of the line on shore. And just about now, Tom yelled, hey, boy, a hat, and he got it. The boat circles, beaches the other end of the net, and then everyone heaves in to haul in the catch. Oh, it's a lot of fun. This is the Hukilau the community fishing. It's a good catch. Like the gang painting a man's house, they do it big and they do it fast. And meanwhile, the big pig has been wrapped in tea leaves, garnished with juicy yams, laid on hot rocks in the emu or fire pit, covered with cane stalks, and roasted to a golden brown. The feast is about to begin. A feast like this is really an experience. Spear fishing is an adventurous sport. And believe me, you don't often see colorful fish like these. This baby actually looks like a parrot. That's the parrot fish. Hawaiian Airlines 44 passenger Convair 340s are big, powerful planes with large picture windows. They give you a fine view of Hawaii's colorful landscape and natural beauty. You know, it's rather amazing and certainly a source of real satisfaction to have the Hawaiian island linked so closely together by these regularly scheduled inter-island flights. There's so much to see and so much to do. These happy travelers will be on the garden island of Kaui just 40 minutes after taking off from Honolulu Airport. You know, it used to be a whole day's travel by boat before you spotted the trim white lighthouse on the island of Kauai. This air travel, my friend, is an invention. Now, here in this pretty as a picture setting of delightful Kauai Inn, we're ready to chorus Okole Maluna, Bottoms Up. Right on the grounds is a banana grove. This was our first chance for a close look at them. And we were amazed to find that bananas grow up. Your fruit store hangs them upside down. South of Lihui, the county seat, is Spouting Horn. Some time ago, lava flows created rock formations with huge holes near the coastline, and the tremendous ocean pressure builds up and blasts the water through the holes in a startling spray. Shower, anyone? High up in the mountains of Kauai, Kalalau Lookout near Pukapeli is Hawaii's Grand Canyon. Towering peaks against the sky are an impressive sight in this garden island. In the canyon walls, a kaleidoscopic pattern of changing colors, immense gorges, depths of almost 3,000 feet, 25 square miles. Kalalau Valley with the Nepali cliffs etched against the ocean, paint a scene you'll long remember. The Garden Island, sure enough, a palm line road carries you smoothly up the north coastline toward Hanalei Bay. And say, notice the modern paved roads with no billboards to mar the beauty. Sam, our driver, has a last name as long as your arm. Kamawela Kahino Pogipala Peahu. These falls are on the side of Mount Waialiali. We're headed for a look at Hawaii's biggest industry, 
agriculture, sugar cane. There are 28 sugar plantations on four principal islands producing a million tons annually. The Hawaiian Islands lead in developing advanced cultivating and harvesting machinery and methods. Hawaiian sugar workers enjoy a higher standard of living than agricultural workers anywhere. Total revenue of sugar and byproducts yearly is $125 million. Wailua River is too beautiful to describe. Have a look. Many Hollywood motion pictures have used thousands of feet shot here on location. It is beautiful, isn't it? Rich, lush foliage line the riverbank. It flows by the famous Fern Grotto. Pretty deckhand, eh? We stopped for a coke at a small store nearby. No, it's been a long time since we've seen an abacus. And now, it may seem like a slow way to add up a bill, but we found that a man who can really use one can beat an electric calculating machine all hollow. We motored back to board our plane. And 40 minutes later, we were back in Honolulu. The next day, we shifted to a Douglas DC-3 to fly from Honolulu to the island of Maui's Little Hana Airport. Came in with the usual smooth landing. Ah, this is the right way to travel. You know, Hawaiian Airlines has been operating scheduled service between the islands since 1929, and naturally is the largest, the oldest, and the most experienced airline in Hawaii. Now, Hawaiian holds America's all-time safety record with never a passenger or crew fatality in its history. A record honored by the National Safety Council in its aviation award to Hawaii. Now, its annual passenger volume almost equals the population of the Hawaiian Islands. Fly between the islands to shopping centers daily, same as you take the bus. How about that? Maui lies midway between Oahu and the island of Hawaii and is a finely blended mixture of the serene, peaceful semi-tropics and the polished culture of the modern Hawaiian island. Quite unlike anything else, anywhere. They raise fine beef cattle on the islands, and we're heading in now for a close look at one of the ranches. This little Hawaiian lad's gonna be a cowpoke for sure. And this young steer is gonna be a steak for sure. Cattle horses, dude riders, and plenty of open trails. Yes, Hawaii is a big piece of the United States. Witness Easter Sunday morning after church service. Easter basket filled with all the trimming, colored eggs, chiclets, and life savings. Church bazaars are popular. Hana Bay, site of Hotel Hana Maui.
A beautiful spread of lush green grounds nestled in the valley. The main lodge is supplemented by garden cottages and flowers grow profusely. You have the ocean, or you have a crystal clear pool if you prefer. Amoa Beach is just a stone's throw south. It's a nice beach. And say, seeing all that water reminds us that Hawaii's drinking water is among the finest in the world. Clear, sparkling artesian. You know, there's a clear, healthy atmosphere in the Hawaiian Islands that impresses you. The climate of the islands and the natural conditions make for healthy, happy living. These bronze surfboard riders are lifeguards on duty constantly and eager to help you enjoy everything. Every morning, the girls cut fresh flowers to dress the tables and dining rooms in lanai. What a setting. Seems the food tastes twice as good eating in the open, with a beautiful view spread clear to the horizon, and the ocean rolling gently on the shore below. At lunchtime, we enjoy the outdoor buffet. Yes, we're really living here. Delicious spreads of food that tempt the appetite and hit the spot. Can't tell you everything that's in them because we just don't know ourselves. Have a real look at these fresh fruit and vegetable salads. A serenade after lunch, and we were off on a little jaunt to see the seven pools. Depressions formed in the lava rock by the constant downward flow of the water. Now oh, we had a wonderful time on the islands of Maui, Kauai, and Oahu. And now we're off for the island of Hawaii. The Loa Hotel at Hilo is built right in the rock of the coastline and the rock formations form natural pools. This young lady is out for a morning dip. Leisurely life, hey. One of the estates confirms Hawaii's name of the Orkin Island. Every kind imaginable. Here was organized Flowers of Hawaii Limited, shipping tons of orchids to the mainland. The export of exotic flowers has grown into a tremendous business. Notice the rare colors of these brilliant Hawaiian flowers. Hawaii, the largest and most southern of the islands, covers more than 4,000 square miles. It's only an hour's flying time from Honolulu. It's famous not only for its orchids, but for coffee, sugar, cattle, and giant fern forests. This fern forest is in Hawaiian National Park. The park covers 270 square miles, a portion of which is on the island of Maui. The high elevation above sea level brings quick mountain showers which are gone almost as quickly as they come. Clovers migrate from Alaska around October. Steam rises through ground vents near Kilauea Crater. From the volcano house on its rim, the crater stretches out over a 2,600-acre area. That's Halimaumau Fire Pit in the distance. And now, let's watch her in action. First in daylight. At night it's a thrilling spectacle. The Hawaiians love their volcanoes, and they come running to them, not away from, when Madame Pele, the fire goddess, sounds off.
you find Kona Inn in a quaint spot on the Kona coast. This is the old Hawaii. Sunshine, contentment, warmth, and friendliness. We drove a short way from Kona Inn to have a look at the coffee plantation. We found coffee growing right alongside the road. To tell you the truth, we never knew whether it grew on bushes or plants. And we found it grows on trees, too. The fruit is hard shell, red. The seeds inside are the coffee beans that are roasted brown. We headed north past flowering cactus. This is Parker Ranch country, the second largest cattle ranch in the United States. This Waimea lettuce is flown to Honolulu markets by fast Hawaiian Airlines cargo liner and eaten fresh the same day. We're taking off from Hilo Airport now, leaving the island of Hawaii and heading again for Oahu. And on the way, we'll see Haleakala Mountain on the island of Maui. Haleakala, House of the Sun. The entire city of New York could fit into this crater with room to spare. Back on Oahu, we fortunately found time to visit a pineapple plantation. Hawaii supplies 80% of the world's canned pineapple. And in the harbor at anchor right, some of the ships that carried delicious Hawaiian pineapples to world ports. And here's the car that carried us down King Street for the last time this trip, as we suddenly remembered that we had a home on the mainland. Never forget the send-off. Aloha means goodbye, hello, and everything nice. And it means we'll come back again. And so we'd seen the real Hawaii. Thanks to Hawaiian Airlines inter-island flights, it was a real vacation. Each island gave us something different. Rich, fertile valleys. Lush green foliage lining quiet roads. Robert Louis Stevenson's cottage. The beach at Waikiki. The garden island of Kauai, the valley island of Maui. Amoa Beach at Hana. Gracious living. Rare beauty. All these are a part of the Hawaiian Islands, sparkling gems in the creamy blue of the great Pacific. Sun, surf, and sky, wonderful. <laughs>